Hi everyone. My name is Bridget Connolly and I am a health science specialist at the Rocky Mountain Regional VA. This presentation was first developed for the 2023 Relational Coordination Roundtable to summarize the spread and outcomes of the Relational Coordination in the VA or RCNVA program and I am excited to share more with you now. First off, I need to offer the following disclosures and funding information. The information that I will be presenting on does not represent the views of the Department of Veterans Affairs or the United States government. Additionally, this work would not be possible without the funding and support of the VA's Health Services Research and Development Service and the VA Office of Research and Development. I start with some background. The Veterans Health Administration, the VA, has set a goal of transforming into a high reliability organization or an HRO. An HRO is an organization that experiences fewer than anticipated accidents or events of harm, despite operating in highly complex, high risk environments. HROs establish trust amongst leaders and staff by creating a culture that balances individual accountability with systems thinking. Crucial to our work, HRO leaders empower all staff to lead continuous process improvements within their own workspace. So for example, uh, creating an environment where employees feel safe to report harm or near misses, and that require our leaders to focus on the why, not the who, when errors occur. The hope is that this work to become an HRO not only supports the incredible talent within the VA system to do great things, but it also facilitates the administration's efforts to strengthen the trust of veterans and the American people in the VA. From my description of an HRO, it should be clear that this shift requires staff from multiple disciplines to coordinate care delivery beyond their typical disciplinary and organizational boundaries. However, Factors like relationship and communication that are crucial to the success of interdisciplinary teams are universally neglected in healthcare. Enter relational coordination. RC is a theory of organizational performance. This theory pr proposes that highly interdependent work is most effectively coordinated by workers with each other, their customers, and their leaders. This occurs through relationships that are built on shared goals, shared knowledge and mutual respect, as well as being supported by communication that is frequent, timely, accurate, and problem solving. RC is measured using the RC survey, which is a validated measure of coordination and team performance that assesses the quality of communication and relationships among the roles for the purpose of research or to support organizational change. RC drives performance outcomes, including quality, efficiency, client satisfaction, and worker well-being and engagement. RC is a key and salient component of delivering an effective, reliable, highly coordinated experience of care. Additionally, RC is a key aspect of high reliability organizing. In 2018, the VA Health Services and Research Department funded a pilot and then a subsequent three years of funding for the relational coordination in the VA program to increase awareness regarding the interdependence of work teams and to ensure the delivery of high quality, safe, and equitable care. This multi-year program sought to spread the theory and practice of relational coordination and the use of the RC survey to research and clinical teams throughout the VA and support organizational change, as well as determine whether relational coordination could be integrated into diverse programs, populations, and settings. The RC and VA program was a multi-phase program. Phase one focused on actively disseminating information to VA clinical research and operational teams to increase awareness about the theory and practice of RC. We used social marketing theory to guide this process and developed a dedicated website, um, a listserv, and a social media presence, as well as a VA learning collaborative. If you wanna read more about this, we published a paper in 2021 about our dissemination strategy. And then phase two included releasing a VA-wide request for applications and RFA to solicit proposals for use of the RC survey and the spread and scale up of VA learning collaborative to build a sustainable RC community. We developed educational resources and a community of practitioners in the VA to build this community. 
We also hosted webinars and journal clubs, and uh, our study lead, Dr. Heather Go Martin, met with interested parties to build out their application, along with implementation and evaluation plans. In total, 13 research and operations teams across eight states and 10 VA medical centers were selected to participate in the RC and VA program. They were given support to administer the RC survey and evaluate the impact of the RC related interventions through consults with Dr. Gattel and Naima Lee and through repeated assessments. Research topics spanned numerous VA strategic priorities. As you can see, care coordination and access to care for high risk and marginalized communities were the most common topics explored by about six teams uh, in settings like hospital to home transitions, opioid safety and pain management. Four teams examined high reliability services in state veteran homes, among hospital leadership and within national VA structure. Um, also, other topics included pain and substance misuse, as well as clinical training for staff serving underserved, marginalized, and at-risk veterans. I want to highlight uh, two main program outcomes. First, clinical teams engaging in two national care coordination programs implemented, implemented through a relational coordination guided strategy reported an increase in RC survey scores from baseline to follow-up. This study is ongoing, uh, and we hope to report longitudinal data next year. Second, relational coordination guided interventions with medical teams concerned with high reliability services also increased provider engagement. Multiple research teams disseminated their findings, uh, culminating in eight peer review publications, 10 presentations, multiple grants that incorporate RC as a guiding framework, and the development of the Relational Facilitation Guidebook for healthcare teams. Uh, I encourage you to learn more about relational facilitation. You can find our guidebook as well as a presentation from my colleague Heidi Schoberg on the RC and VA webpage. Funding for the RC and VA program ended in September 2023, and we are now in our sustainment phase. Um, however, investigators that are funded by national VA program offices, including CCICM and pain management, uh, Office of Community Care and the Office of Rural Health continue to use RC as a guiding framework to support the implementation of national programs. We will continue to update the RC and VA webpage with new information or publications, um, for it is frequently used by researchers and clinical staff who are interested in starting their RC journey or are seeking consultation from VA experts and larger RC community. I've also listed a few of our presentations and publications here if you wish to learn more. Um, also, feel free to reach out um, to us if you are interested in implementing RC in your work. Thank you. Bye-bye.